Hey, my name is Melanie Gay. What's pop? What's pop? What's pop? You already know it's your girl, the newbie, the Nova. Back with another intro of time with me, y'all. This what's pop? What's pop? What's pop? My kings, my queens, my loves, and my babies. Okay, we're gonna be doing like a new device tonight, so hopefully everything goes good with editing everything. If you are some new to my channel, I do smoke. I cuss and I drink a little bit, okay? So tonight, I do got my little kiki in my cup. If you don't know what my kiki is, that means I'm on that tequila. Okay, tequila, 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 tequila. All right, but I might be a cup of tea. I might not. So stick around and see. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit those buttons. You need to be smashing. Okay, because if not, what are you doing? I'm just saying, what are you doing? <laughs> All right, but yeah, 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 yeah. I got a pre pull tonight. When I was doing my meditation, it was eleven twenty two. Today it is eleven thirty two o'clock. Currently Friday, March twenty second. I was originally channeling Nivea for like the last two days, and I knew this was confirmation to come do this tonight because I just got the phone with my sister, and she said Nivea was coming to my city at the end of the month, and I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm snowed in, so I'm like, might as well get some content done. You feel me? So, this is going to be a conversation with the Karmix reading, okay? I do have playlists on my channel, so if you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Go check out the shorts. I got plenty of shorts on here. I got plenty of playlists, so it's easier to find the readings because I do all types of readings, okay? I do more than just tarot on this channel, all right? But yeah, y'all, I got the freaking pre-pull tonight. And what we got on the board is we got the Nine of Swords. We got the Six of Swords. And we got the Ace of Wands, baby. All right. And what I'm getting is, like, somebody think, like, you're theirs. Like, you're their fucking property or something like that. You feel me? Like, because when I looked it up in the book, it said something about, um, basically, like, something about lowering your standards to deal with something. Okay? But now it's like you're at a point where you're at your wit's end with it. Okay? And with that being said, somebody don't want you to sell the calmer waters with this six of swords because they already know that it's going to be a great outcome. Whatever you're manifesting is coming in. It's coming in right before their eyes. So it's like I'm hearing the word sabotage. Okay. And under the nine of swords, I got deception. The reason why this offer or this love interest is because it's a lot of deception there. Okay. You're selling to Karma Waters because this person is a fucking liar. Lies on lies on lies on lies. This person is a super monty. Super monty, okay? Super liar. Super liar. Super, super, super liar. Okay? And for these lies, you start manifesting something different because the chemistry is gone. You're, you're searching for chemistry. Okay? Yes, everybody likes certain things, but if the chemistry is not there, what the fuck is the point? You feel me? And that is what you're manifesting. And that's why this wedding did not come in. This wedding did not come in because of the lies, the deception, and the chemistry being off. All that is sabotage. And I also have the two... And the root chakra on its side. And what I was doing with that 1122. Okay, you are finally now in a balanced state. Okay? So this 1122. You might have been going through something with knowing your words from the ages of 11 to the ages of 22. Take it how it resonates. But whatever it is, you've done learned the lesson and you are getting blessed in all departments. I'm hearing something about um, you passed the test, you passed the quiz. You pass the test, you pass the quiz, okay? I do have a couple of songs. I'm not going to sing the whole song because y'all already know how I get over here on this shit, okay? We got a vibe check around this bitch, baby, okay? But, yeah. We're going to get into the prayer. 
And we gonna get this thing started, you feel me? Fit in. Oh, snap. Yeah, I got the mm, Page of Pentacles, y'all. Page of Pentacles. Somebody try to like dangle money, but like I said, you can dangle this money, yeah. Six of Pentacles, gifts and things like that. This person can give you gifts and shit all motherfucking day. None of that matters if the chemistry is not fucking there. And I'm about to get into these songs. Y'all gonna understand me and feel me on a on a more level. 736 on the clock. All right. Come on, let's get it. Conversations with the karma. God grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. I said, God grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Hashem, 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 yeah. God, anybody sending any evil eye towards me and my collective, please return that shit back to sender with intent of knowledge so that they can stop doing that shit. I said, anybody sending any evil eye towards me and my collective, please return that shit back to sender with intent of knowledge so that they can stop doing that shit. I say, I say, I say, I say, yeah. Okay, so before I get into this reading all the way, I'm about to just set this right here. Because it's still smoking. We gotta we gotta clear the room. We gotta smoke the room out, okay? I need to like, yo. Cause the way this shit was worded on this nine of swords, I gotta like read it to y'all. Okay. Nine of Swords. It says, the Nine of Swords in this position advise you to confront your fear of being alone and acknowledge the different limits you may have put on yourself because of that fear. Okay. Are you, what's that song? He'd be like, or she, I forgot if it's like really what. But they were like, um, I'm alone when you're around. Okay. You can have all these people around you or and all this other stuff, material things, whatever wealth, whatever, but like you still feel alone. Okay. Or this person, I got to be hearing <laughs> Jocelyn, you take all my stuff, Stevie, when you get mad, you like, nah. like this person tries to like sabotage and play with you. You know what I'm saying? And like, so now you have like a fear, but since you done went through this so many times, it's like now you're used to it. You can take that hit. At first you used to cry and bitch up about it, but now it's like, okay, you get it now. This person is like wondering why the shit is not working anymore. The name of being safe. You may have altered a lower standard than you are capable of achieving. If so, then you may have resisted striking out on your own. Yeah. Perhaps you have bargained away creativity and joy order to avoid being challenged. So yeah, therefore you was being like a people pleaser to this person. You are dimming your light for somebody else. You are in the spirit of not dimming your light anymore. This person cannot take the light that you are shining. Okay? These kinds of trade-offs never work. This could be time to cut your losses. Yeah, it never works. It never works. Because if something is destined for somebody, it's going to happen regardless. That's why they say some people are put in your life because they are lessons. And some people are put in your life for lifetimes. Yeah, sometimes it, on a human level, we are spiritual people having a hum, human experience. So yeah, on your human side, it's going to hurt your feelings. But on a spiritual side, when you understand the lessons, it's going to be like, okay. Because if not, you're going to sit there, keep going through the same fucking shit. The nine, you're at the end and you have like this grandfather energy, this grandiose energy. Okay? You're like, okay, been there, done that, got, got the fucking t-shirt. Period. This could be time to cut your losses. If so, recognize how much time and energy you have sacrificed to a way of being that's not right for you. If you can do this, you will look back at this time in your life as a turning point. This may be an opportunity to heal as you shield a heavy burden that weighs you down. So again, you guys could have been going through something from the ages of 11 to 22. You could be anywhere any age at this point but when you're looking back at the old you versus the new you now you see where you sabotage yourself you see where you didn't get involved you see where you know what i'm saying the lessons were i'm here i want you around round 
Oh, I want you around, Sabrina Claudio. Okay, so we got a couple songs. We got to get up in this. We got the uh, 10 05 on the clock. That's 555 on repeat. That's a major change, baby. Major moves. Okay, I'm here. Moonwalk. Hey, I don't know how. To, he's like, honestly, he's like, I don't understand the plug. He don't even talk or some shit. Hey, Moonwalk. Hey, I don't even understand the fuck. That nigga don't even talk. <laughs> Fucking period. They don't even understand you because you ain't explaining your fucking self no more. You like, I'm done being that motherfucking record on repeat. Like, shoulda, coulda, fucking woulda. What the fuck do you want me to do? Like, okay. So with this nine, like I said, this person's like, you're their property. I got this, don't mess with my man. I'm going to be the one to bring it to you. Got my guess and my man. So find your only mind alone. Don't mess with my man. I'm going to be the one to bring it to you. Here's a little advice for you. Find your own man. Hey, hey, don't mess with my girl. I'ma be the one to bring it to you. Got my boys and my girl. So far, you're only mine alone. Don't mess with my girl. I'ma be the one to bring it to you. Here's a little advice for you. Find your room, girl. Okay, play I'm wanting you. If you want my girl, let's suggest that you move on this now. Girl, I'm wanting you. If you want my man, I suggest that you get to stay back. Hold up, hold up, hold up. That was time for me. Don't mess with my man. 1202 on the fucking clock. He was trying to hurt a girl. That was time for me. Don't mess with my girl. Okay. Like, you know how people, like, try to sabotage shit just to see how down you're going to be for them instead of just letting natural events happen naturally? This person seen how down you was. They seen how much heart you had. They seen that you could eat that shit. So they put, they tried to apply the pressure in all the wrong ways. So now that you are realizing that you fed the fuck up, now a person's like, oh, I don't mean it when I holler at you. I don't mean it. Okay? Nah. Ain't none of that. You mean it because you... Why would you keep doing it? Type shit. And then with this deception, it could have been some cheating or something like that. Because I'm getting... Meet me in the McDonald's parking lot. Just go to the hill at the light. Make a right. Make a left on Harris Street. Meet me at the McDonald's parking lot. She said, I'm in the drive through right beside you. Ready to take your order. Take it right here in this parking lot. I'm going to make it hot like it, like it, like it. Wet like it, like it, like it. Oh, taste it right here in this parking lot. Okay? Like... This person just had no respect. I'm hearing like was just doing shit right up under your fucking nose. Like the deception was right up under your nose. You see how this motherfucker sitting right here? They're like, oh, I'm sitting here by myself. I'm not even doing anything. Who are you talking about? Confirmation, like they looking around like, who are you talking about? The bitch that's sitting right here behind you, fool. Like, what you mean? Like, motherfucker trying to make you feel like you was fucking crazy. Not real narcissist, it's like just lying for no reason. Like, wondering why you leaving. Are you going to leave because some he say, she say, you going to leave? Da, 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 da. Bitch, I'm leaving because I see the proof. You got the receipts. So what the fuck are you talking about? Multiple receipts. They're, and the chemistry is gone. Like, you searching for some chemistry. And then, because, yeah, because I got to try songs, the, who na na na, put your hands in the air if you love them tonight. Oh, oh, na na na, put your hands in the air if you love them tonight. Oh, na 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 Okay? Oh, na na, bitch, don't get me started. Oh, na na, ay, 
How you gotta be so naughty? Ooh, na 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 na. Okay, and I'm hearing the Lauren Hill too. Oh, na 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 na. Yeah, mm -hmm. Okay. And I feel like this is the karmic right here. Like, this person likes to have an upper hand. Like, if they don't have an upper hand, it's not fun to them. Like, on some narc supplier type shit. Because I got the Tierra Marie phone bull. Can you meet me at the phone bull? My mom just kicked me out. Um, I ain't something. Can you meet me at the phone bull? Okay. Y'all remember that old Tierra Marie, okay? Stop fucking, don't play with her. Y'all, we ain't gonna get started on that because we already know what all happened to that, okay? <laughs> and then I also got the, I ain't had no daddy around when I was growing up. That's why I'm wild and I don't give a fuck. Okay, this could be you, like, you are the way that you are because it ain't taking no shit because I'm hearing, um, Gorilla, Gorilla, he had the um, right click, but he just set the wrong one. He was like, I'm my dad. He was like, um, he was like, yeah, I'm my daddy's daughter, but I had to show him I'm my daddy's son or some shit. She be saying, y'all already know how Glory Love be fucking talking. But yeah, and yeah, I got the fucking page of swords too. Like, that's these fucking lies. Motherfuckers, like, think they swift with their tongue. It's like, bitch, do you remember the last lie you fucking told? Like, you fucking weirdo. <laughs> fucking weirdo. Yeah, somebody's trying to have you, like, stick to your stomach, stick to your gut with this nine in reverse. Like, with all this deception, like, you stick to your fucking stomach about this shit. Like, but yeah, let's see what the fuck this kind of gotta fucking say. Cause we gotta put these cards over here. We seven. Oh, seventeen eleven. Okay, seventeen fourteen, and then we got seventeen seventeen one o'clock. Go look up the angel numbers, baby. They could have been some of the ages that you were dealing with something the most that's got you into the situation. Go look, look back on those years to what was happening to see if that is why you are in the situation that you are in right now with this person feeling like you're their property. Like where where do you feel like you dimmed your light? in order to, like, went through the changes that you're going through. I'm here, Isley Brothers. I want to see all I want to see. You're all, oh, you're all I need. Oh, yes, you are. You're all, oh, you're all I Okay, Ron Isley coming back through. Some of y'all could be um dealing with somebody with the name Ron or something as well. Okay, coming through. Okay. Miscarriage. Ooh. Okay, you could have found out about a miscarriage or something like that, or something about a baby wasn't somebody's. Because I'm hearing BOB, he was like, um, when the lights go on, uh, think about things I did, uh, all of the things that we did back then. Okay, he was talking about, uh, he was like, nine months later, the baby wasn't even mine. Okay? You could be dealing with somebody who is like an entertainer or be around a lot of people, like have a lot of access or women or men always that are throwing their self at this person, okay? And it's easy for them to get away with it because they can just be like, I'm working, which they are working, but at the same time, they're mixing business and pleasures together. And then, yeah, the side piece came out with that. The side piece had a miscarriage or the baby just wasn't there at all. He was like, yeah, nine months later, the baby wasn't even mine. Damn. When the lights go off in the middle Okay. In my head. That was the, and then you could have asked this person about this. Like, do you got somebody pregnant or something like that? It could have been a rumor or something going on. This person lied. Like, no, 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 no. And you like, what the fuck? Like, why is this on my gut? Why do I got this feeling on my gut? Or why, like, why am I, I'm here. 
The girls are talking, the girls are talking. Girls talk about good too, about if a nigga is hanging too. Because the girls are talking, the girls are talking. Okay, come through fucking TLC. Fuck you mean. And it's like, I'm here, I don't want no scrub. A scrub is a guy that can't get no love from me. Hanging up the passenger side of his best friend's ride. Trying to holler at me. No. Okay. What is going on? What else did this person lie about, spirit? With this page of fucking swords. Like, what else was this person lying about? What else was this person lying about, spirit? What got this person... Why is they lying? What else was they lying about? They lied about loving you. They could have lied about loving you or telling this person that they love them. Okay? They could have lied and told something they loved you. Because if, if they love you, they wouldn't do the shit that they did to you. Okay? This could be the type of person you could tell them that you love them all the time. You know what I'm saying? They never say nothing back or they only tell you that they love you when they fear that you're going to walk away or something. That's when they want to hop up and try to do everything. But outside of that, they just treat you however. Who did this person tell that they loved? Who did they... Who did they tell this person they love? Who, who did this karmic say they love? Be deaf. Who do they tell this person they love? I just seen the um nine of pentacles. So they could this girl, she could have like a little bit of money or a little bit of emotion going on, but at the same time, she really ain't got her shit together because she's talking about to come get her from the fucking phone booth. And you out here trying to fucking McDonald's parking lots. <laughs> you can't come to the crib. This nigga won't get no room for you, baby. He can't come to your house. You can't come to his house. What the fuck? <laughs> Should have known better. First of all, let me say, I ain't the one, <laughs> you know that you are guilty, yeah. and I see how it is easy for you to bring your game on me. If that's the case, I should go have my fun, do all the things you say I do, oh boy, I can't continue to take this from you. I might as well have cheated on you. Oh, as much as you accuse me of cheating, I might as well have gone to the club. Oh, as much as you accuse me of clubbing, I might as well have did it to you. Oh, as much as you accuse me of doing, okay, I might as well have given away my love. I should have gave it all away. I should have cheated. Okay, yeah. They told this star that they loved them knowing damn well you ain't fucking love. Listen, they ain't love you. They ain't love you. They love what you could do for them. They don't love you. Because, again, if this person loved you, they wouldn't have put you through all the shit they put you through. If they really loved you, they wouldn't wait till you don't give a fuck no more to hop up and act like they want to fucking do something. 23, 33 was just on my fucking clock. 2344. Like, what's up on now? It's that simple. <laughs> it's that simple. Don't do too much. Don't do too fucking much. And the chemistry is off because you're a rational fucking person. This person is irrational. They're also bitter amongst miserable. Because they, shit, two peas in a pod to me, bitter and miserable are best friends. The chemistry is off. Which throws everything off. And this person is bitter about it. Because instead of taking the time to really get to know you, instead of getting to know you to like get one over on you, they didn't get to know you genuinely. Again, this person was treating you like supply. They weren't treating you as an individual. 
And some people really don't understand this narc abuse. Some people are under a lot of narc abuse and don't even understand it because that's all the fuck they know. They think that shit normal. And so y'all get out of sight of y'all zone to y'all see a person treat y'all better. Like in my other reason, I was saying, you got those people out there because I was a person like that too. Why are you being so nice? You being nice, you want something. You feel me? But sometimes people do have genuine hearts. It's very rare, but people do. But most of the time, when people get fucked over and they end up becoming, you know, on the dark side like them, or they pick and choose who the fuck they be like that with. Because you can't treat people how you want to be treated. You have to treat people how they want to be treated. Because not everybody has self-respect for themselves. Okay? That don't mean you got to be rude. Let me say that, but don't, don't go out your way. Because they ain't going to go out their way for you. Or you got people that, like, they constantly want to have pity parties. Like, man, fuck that shit. Fuck out of here. What is going on with this wedding? What did the karmic do to throw off this wedding? What did the karmic in this side piece do to throw off the wedding? Secret lovers. Mm, you Like I said, you found out about this, this rendezvous. Or rendezvous. Secret lovers. It wasn't too fucking secret. That's for fucking sure. That's for fucking sure. But again, like this, you you're already about to get your shit that you deserve. Cause again, you're coming balanced in that root chakra. You're doing the, the work in your root chakra, so you're gonna get blessed for it. But this person is still trying to come in with these petty ass offers. With the page in the motherfucking six a motherfucking um pinnacles. What is this person hoping to get out of giving these gifts? What is this person hoping to get out of getting these gifts? What does this karmic or karmic lover think they're going to get out of these gifts? Charmer. <laughs> I cannot even say that. This person think they charming you. They think they gonna charm they fucking way. Lucky fucking charm. Head fucking ass. Fucking leprechaun head ass. And we in the month of March. We was just for the fucking same passion day the other day. This motherfucker really think they about to charm you. Bitch, where? And nine times out of ten, y'all make y'all own bread. That this person loves when you are dependent on them. Like, it, it gives them like a high. What was the karmic getting out of this gift? I wish I was in love with you so you couldn't hurt me. Wasting my time as thinking about you and you ain't never gonna change. When you touch me, my heart melts. <laughs> Why you wanna hurt me so bad? I believe in you. That's why I'm so mad. Okay. See, you want to care about me, but from what I see, yeah, you treated me like your enemy. So leave me alone. Don't walk back to that door. Just go back where you came from. This house is no longer your home. Okay. I wish I... And I'm hearing Deborah Cox. I was Heather Hadley. I'm hearing Deborah Cox. How did you get here? Get here. Nobody's supposed to be here. Nobody. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Listen. I'm not supposed to love nobody, eh? I'm not supposed to care anymore. I tried that love thing for the last time. My heart says no, no, no. <laughs> Dog, this person is pissed. Like, you, you shut them down in. <laughs> Are you going more to combat on this motherfucker? Like, hell no. Like, get the fuck on. I'm hearing Nivea laundry mat. So, part of this 
<laughs> if you was over here taking care of business, you won't have to ask me no questions like that. Oh no, my ass nigga, who that was over there? <laughs> See? <laughs> Boy, ain't nobody got a motherfucking butt. Oh, you got your little record there and I think you something. This, like I said, this person is mad of your life. They think because you came up or you're doing good without them or still when they tell you like no or try to make things hard for you or try to be funny with you, you're not responding or the way they thinking things are going to play out is not playing out. And it also has this other karm, the karma that they cheating on which you met because they also had a miscarriage or lied about a baby or the baby ain't fucking theirs. And even still, with fucking with them, they still worried about you. While still trying to hide this motherfucker. And it's like, just go do you, boo. Like, why is you even tripping? If you love that motherfucker over there, go love on her. Don't love her and treat her wrong and then try to be in my face and treat me how you supposed to be treating her. But in the back of the head, you don't even fucking really like, you know what I'm saying? The collective. Like, a motherfucker just be doing shit half ass backwards. It's kind of like that thing where they be like, don't go out the person you choose, go out the person that choose you. Because that person is always going to be in love with you versus the person that you chasing type shit. If you know, you know. If I can find some little skits and shit on that, I'll have it drop down below because you already know how we do. We at 31, 35. <laughs> okay. All you all do is get in with me. Okay. We ain't stopping at no lights. <laughs> <laughs> like you about to be living your fucking best life. All they gotta do is get in with me. Hey, phone jiggy, yeah. Okay. Okay, it's good. I'm hearing hell cast SRT nigga pulls up on me. <laughs> okay. You ain't no hoopy bitch you lacking. Be on our way to magic. Okay? Like, you on your way to magic. I, I, even though it's the fucking middle of spring, I'm hearing it's a wonderful time of the year. Because y'all know the year ain't really what the like year is. And the calendar really ain't. You know what I'm saying? New Year's is really in a couple days. <laughs> If you get it, you get it. Like, New Year's is really in a couple of days. But it's the wonderful time of the year. Okay? If you get it, you get it. I It's my little thing. Kiki. But no, for real. Yeah, somebody has an obsession. Obsession. Why are you so obsessed with me when everybody knows I'm lying that you're sexing me? Okay, boy, stop. Boy, stop. Boy, stop. <clears throat> what is my collective going to do about this deception? What is my collective going to do about this deception? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so we got the nine of wands. I think you need to leave me alone. Pack your bag. Listen. You gonna wrap up them little scars. You gonna wrap up. You gonna heal. You gonna strategize your exit plan. And you been the fuck up. I'm here, me, myself, and I. That's all I got in the end. That's what I found now. And it ain't no need to cry. I think I'm out every now on. I'm gonna be my own best friend. Okay. To the left, to the left. Everything you own in a box to the left In the closet That's my stuff, yes, if I want it Please don't touch <laughs> And keep talking that mess That's fine, since you walk and talk At the same time, man That's my name, that's on that chat So I'm gonna, gonna call you a cat What? 
How I'm such a fool talking about how I never ever find someone like you. You got me twisted. You must not know about me. You must not know about me. I can have a new in you in a minute. Matter of fact, help me here in a minute, baby. Okay. What is my collective going to do about this obsession? Because we already know people be on here crazy as fuck. You turning down that shit. Page of Cups in reverse. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you, A. Fuck you, A. Fuck you, A. And tell her, hey, that I said, A. <laughs> you might be going out of town. You might be going out of town to turn up. This could be a solo trip or a group trip. We <laughs> He was like, yeah. He said, one night, I'm from out of town. He, she was like, new Chanel, his and hers. He was like, for these haters, I got two words. Fuck you. Fuck you. And tell a hater, I said, hey. About them niggas that you came with. All in my section drinking my shit. <laughs> like, my family that wasn't fucking with you before, they're going to be trying to be on dick. You might, this person even might have had this person in your face before. This person might even have this person in your face before. I'm seeing that episode 11 Hip Hop when Tommy went to that club to spy on that girl Scrappy was dating Scrappy Baby Mama. The 11 Hip Hop was Scrappy on it or whatever. Yeah. Ain't that his name? Y'all know what I'm talking about if y'all was watching Love Hip Hop. All right, Love Hip Hop Atlanta. Yeah. What is my collective going to do about these lies? Even though we don't give a fuck for real, but what is my collective going to do about these lies? Like, this, like, what is. This? I'm seeing the Seven of Cups. Okay, so if y'all is married, y'all gonna probably be getting some type of alimony or something like that. Also, with all these lies, you probably thinking like, okay, this motherfucker was doing all this for me. Like, what the fuck was they over here doing for this bitch? Or this nigga or something. You know what I'm saying? They over here telling me they love me. Like, what the fuck was they over here telling them to get them to do whatever? You feel me? Like, this motherfucker think they so fucking charming. Like, in your head, like, you were like, whatever. And then also, you like, when you found out these lies, you see here manifesting like, okay, what all I need to do, like I said, this strategy plan with this fucking nine of wands, like you, you sitting here with a strategy plan, like, okay, I got this much money saved up. I know I got this resource over here, this over here, like, like you really like what the fuck, like about to get the fuck on. But if this is like a marriage, something like you, you about to get your alimony, your child support, you like you, you, you to walk away with a lot of shit. You probably gonna walk away with more than you thought you was. And if you marry somebody who got a lot of money or something, like that, you about to take them for like damn near everything they fucking got. Even if you don't want it or not, I feel like some of y'all gonna be like, you know what? I just want all new shit. Just give me the money. Like you can have a house and the cars and shit. I can get new cars and shit. Or even if y'all do keep it, y'all gonna keep it in order to sell it and still go get something new. Um, cause I'm seeing that thing on bad mom's club when she stayed in the house and the ex-husband was trying to regulate who she could have in the house and stuff like that. Y'all don't want to go through none of that. So if this is like something like that, you won't be getting rid of it or breaking a lease or something like that. Take it how it resonates. But you, you still want this, this, um, energy that you're in, the manifestation is just coming in for sure. They coming in for sure. And confirmation. They coming in for sure. What is going to be happening coincide with the star? What is this person going to be seeing you do? This person going to be seeing you get all the things that you want. This person wants to be your lover, but they're going to be seeing you get all the things that you want. The devil card. They want to offer you this stuff. They want to say they the ones who made you a star, but really you made yourself a star. I'm hearing you cutting soul ties, cutting off soul ties. You know that this ain't really love. Sex, 
Sex, sex, sex, sex, sex, sex ain't better than love. <laughs> sex ain't better than love. Sex ain't better than love. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Sex ain't better than love. Okay, yeah. Three of swords and fucking reverse. Now a person want a motherfucking cut off all they hoes. No. Remember you you looking for the hoes. No. Remember? He was out here looking for the hoes. Nah. Go love on them hoes. Go love on them hoes. You feel me? What's going to be on on with my collective with this manifesting chemistry and true love? What is going on with my collective with manifesting this chemistry and true love? I'm seeing, um, if I ever made you angry, just though it gets better with time. They say time heals. Hey, don't, don't, mm, mm, cause your mind still gets, and tell that nigga, Okay, and she don't want to go to sleep. She angry. But yeah, if this person is gonna come with the Page of Pentacles type energy, you turning their asses down. And then yeah, but that's the thing too with this chemistry. You could have turned this person down because like they could have just kept offering you petty shit like. Like, I'm not saying this person would never do nothing for you because clearly they was doing shit for you. But, like, when it came down to the shit that really count or really mattered, like, on that motherfucker going to see you do good but not better than them, 41, 44, just on my clock. Like, so they trying to, like, breadcrumb you. I'm getting breadcrumbing. And he gave me the ick. Okay? <laughs> gave you the ick. And then now this person is, like, they better because you're rational about it. Like, you seeing the shit for what it is. Like, they can't get one over on you. How is this karmic feeling about... Well, clearly they better. Where is these rational decisions going to get my collective? Where are these rational decisions going to get my collective? Where are these rational decisions going to get my collective? Where are these rational decisions going to get my collective? Spirit, where are these rational decisions going to get my collective dealing with the situation? Mm. It's going to have people fighting over you. Because now you don't care. Because at first you was the one fighting trying to make it work. But now that you don't give a fuck, now this person fighting to get you back. They karmic or karmics are fighting to get them. People thinking that they in positions that they really not in because all these fucking lies. So now all the shit about to be up in the air. All the shit about to go up in fucking smoke. I'm hearing holiday season. Okay, it's not Easter coming up and shit like that. But we got Easter coming up in April. May is what? Labor Day or some shit. Okay, well, we got Labor Day or Memorial Day, whatever, which one of them come first. And then, what, June? Well, we got Mother's Day in June. July, well, we got Father's Day in July. August is the other holiday, Memorial Labor Day, whichever one didn't come in fucking May. September is what? What the fuck happened in September? I don't think nothing goes on in September. August. Oh. Yeah, August, September. Shit, I don't fucking know. Yeah, August. Yeah. What's the fuck happens in September? I don't think nothing happens in September. In October, we got the Halloween and all the rest of the holidays. So, yeah. Holiday season. Like, you going out at the end of this year with a fucking bang. Everybody going to be motherfucking popping, bumping their gums about this shit. And if not, trying to throw hands about this shit. Whether they try to throw hands with this person or you or whatever. But baby, listen, you protect yourself. I hope they don't try to run up on y'all. <laughs> I really hope they don't try to run up on y'all. Especially if it's like a person that think they bigger than y'all or something like that. Nigga, they gonna be in for a rude awakening. 
I'm hearing David and Goliath. They got to be in for a rude way. Don't come over here fucking rock like this, bitch. But she say, <laughs> she was like, he was like, lost him like Mayweather Tula come through and bow a hoe. Okay? Yeah, ho. <laughs> He's supposed to tell, oh, yeah, go. Stop overthinking. These bitch can't fuck with you. Before I go to hoe play with me, I go eat some jail food on game, nigga. We already know why the fuck this wedding didn't happen, but can you give us more about why this wedding didn't happen and about these secret lovers? How did how did my collective find out about these secret lovers? How did my collective find out about these secret lovers that threw off this wedding? How did my collective find out about these secret lovers that threw off this wedding? How did my collective find out about these secret lovers that threw off this wedding? Spirit, please give me the tea, baby. Okay, we have 45.50 on the clock. Ace of Swords in reverse. Okay. I will put my ear to the wall and listen in. Like, damn, not this again. Okay. I will put my ear to the wall and listen in. Thinking to myself, like, damn, not this again. Nicki Minaj and Young Blue. Somebody was pillow talking. Like I said, somebody was pillow talking. Who's the girl that called you? I don't know. Who's the girl that saw you win? Uh, I don't know. Is this love with them over? I don't know. Tell me your name. Jane Doe. Yeah, I know the thing started off all good. Remember me, I didn't have a time, but I did what I could. Took a chance to push you on my account. Now you with some females showing your mouth. That's why I triple shit like your pager. All in my face, blowing up and you getting later. And the reason why I'm running the phone, <laughs> running the room with the phone all the time, is it because you are guilty of the time? Don't cry. Who's the girl I paid you? I don't know. Who's the guy I saw you with? Uh, I don't know. Is this the affair over? I don't know. Tell me your name. Jane No. These lies. <laughs> these fucking lies. Like I said, you got the receipts. All these fucking lies on top of fucking lies. It threw the fucking marriage off. All these petty ass offers. Because what you, what you, uh, if you marry a person while they doing all this shit to you, what the fuck you think they gonna do when you actually marry them? And then I just watched this Bible story. It was about, um, don't get me lying about these folks' names, but I'm going to have it linked down below. But basically, it was about the um, most unloved wife in the Bible. And basically, it was that story about the dude. He told him, you got to work for seven years for me, and you can marry his daughter, Rachel. But Rachel wasn't the firstborn daughter. The firstborn daughter had some type of birth defect. So after he got done, motherfucking uh, working the seven years he veiled the firstborn daughter and sent him to be one with her husband he woke up in the morning realizing that wasn't motherfucking rachel and then he had to work a whole another seven more years just in order to be able to um marry rachel and basically she had all these kids by him that's why they said a baby's not gonna keep no man he don't fucking like you he don't fuck with you he ain't gonna fuck with them kids either or you so that's why I'm saying I don't see why y'all be out here taking this pain for these niggas that you don't even know if they really gonna be there or not. Cause bitch, hell no. Nah. But anywho, that's a different story for a different motherfucking day. I'm probably gonna do a whole another segment on that. And on top of my other videos I posted, because I, I <laughs> baby, if it's one thing I noticed is a sneak this. If there's one thing I noticed is a whole bunch of motherfucking clear eyed, dry ass bitches. And then all of a sudden, you want to make your shit. Yeah. I peep a lot of shit. But like I said, I'm flattered by it. You got to understand the flattery in the EA's to irritate me back then. But now I understand. 
But anywho, back to this topic. And then it makes me think too, like what they talking about some, oh, it's bad luck to see your wife move for a wedding. So y'all be wearing these veils and all this shit. Like, nah. Again, that's why I don't fuck with the church and shit. Because there be some weird shit going on. And then I know back in the king and queen times, that's why they wear white dresses now. Because I guess what, Queen Victoria wore all white dress for purity or whatever the fuck. So everybody want to wear a white dress, but come the fuck on now. Anywho, this motherfucker, Alaya, 60, 22 on the clock. Okay, what time is it for you? 12, 21 on the motherfucking clock. Hey. Bon oui, bon oui, bon oui. Bon oui. Anywho. Hmm. Trauma. I wish I wasn't in love with you. How does my collective feel about this person trying to charm them and the love that they say they have for them? I keep seeing this nine of pentacles in reverse. Like this person really is wishing bad on you. Like I said, motherfucker wants to see you do good, but not better than them. It, it got mixed back up in here. If it come, if it come back at Come back at the top of this fucking deck. Like, this person is really wishing bad on you. They want to, they really want you in a position of begging and bending on fucking hand and knee. Hand, knees, and feet. I'm hearing hands, mouth, feet. That disease, that hands, mouth, feet disease. We get a little bumps. Hands, mouth, feet. Like, I don't want to be, be without you, be without you. I can't sleep, sleep without you, sleep without you. I don't want to go, go without you, go without you. Said I don't want to be, oh, no, oh, be two, oh, two. When we hooked up, we sat down, been agreement. We talked about, we always be together, do whatever. We said that, no one ever come between us. Said the love would never leave us. That was a well, uh. Go on. Now lately, I feel like me. I feel like all we do is fight every single night. Can't get it right. I just wanna go back, take it way back, all the way back. Can we start again? Do it over? Can we straighten down? Can we work it out? Cause I don't wanna be be without you, be without you. I can't sleep, sleep without you, sleep without you. I can't go, go without you, go out. I don't wanna be. Uh, uh, uh. And I'm hearing Eve, love is blind, and it'll take over your mind. What you think is love is truly not. You need to elevate and find love is blind. And they'll take over your mind. What you think is love is truly not. You need to elevate and find love is mine. I don't even know you and I hate you. See, all I know is my homegirl used to date you. How would you feel if she held you down and you? She was like, try to um, fight herself, but she never could escape you. She said, love, and I asked her how. I mean, what type of love from a nigga? What black your eye? What type of love from a nigga uh, make you cry? What type of love from a nigga make you wish you would die? Yeah, he bought you things and gave you diamond rings, but them things wasn't real compared to the um the hate he brought you. He said that you would cry for him. The type to make you fall for him, slap you down because he said you was too tall for him. Baby boo, didn't know you was his blessing. Um, I, She was like, um, didn't even know you. She was like, sweet kisses, didn't even know you was his mistress. She was like, um, she's like, could have uh, slapped you when you say your seed was growing from his seed. Like, you got a friend or somebody in your life that's seen all this shit play out. Or this can be your higher conscience and your ancestors like, but like we don't get you all the clues and everything. You still sitting here like, no. Cause I'm seeing that movie with um Viola Davis and Jennifer Lopez when um her son got murdered. 
and she thinking Jennifer Lopez is a chick in the class, but the whole fucking time Jennifer Lopez is her higher conscience. I forgot the name of the movie, but I'm having a link in here. Like some of y'all is that fucking tapped in. But y'all didn't like y'all knew y'all was taking back in, but it's like since you know your worth now, since you don't went through like it's like you went from like being like this big to being like this big overnight. Like you see how small this square is compared to this fucking square? Like on some overnight shit. And what does it say? It says, I like being number two, less work. And somebody like like ugh, they nasty. Like they don't even give a fuck. And even like with the um Bible story I'm telling you about when the Rachel girl ended up marrying the dude, he showed ooh, excuse me, spiritual purpose. He showed no attention to that first girl. You are the first girl. Even though you might not have no birth defense or nothing like that, but it's like you're the wife. You're in that position. And even when he went to go like back in those time make his will, he put her at the lower totem pole. But when it came time to them passing, it didn't matter about that. Because she was first wife, she automatically got buried right next to him. So there was no escaping her. It was no escaping, you know, whatever. And it's like, okay, so she's good enough to sleep with, but she's not good enough to give her respect. It's crazy. Even though it's not what you bargained for, that's what you got. God's not going to give you what you want. He's going to give you what you need. In a sense. Okay? And then, the, the girl couldn't even bear kids. You know what I'm saying? So, the first sister who married, she was bearing kids, busting the mugs out. Even had the plant to even make her fertility more viable, but she gave it some to her sister. Like she had to like basically pay to sleep with her husband. Like it was just like a lot of crazy shit going on. But at the end of the day, because you kept your heart and you got that big heart and you took the time to do the work, you gonna get them wins. So I many people told me they were going to the casino tonight because this is just no one ain't shit to do. And all the clubs here is fucking clubs. I live in freaking Michigan where this bullshit. Like I said, the magician. The King of Swords. You gonna get the last word. Queen of Swords. You gonna meet somebody who's mentally phys like on your level. King of Queen shit. I don't care if you don't run. Baby, as long as I'm next to you. Ooh. People are not gonna like this because when y'all when you come into union with this person that's on your level. And this person who actually has balanced feminine and masculine energy, baby, everybody in the past is going to be like, I can't even believe I fucking dealt with you. And that's what you manifested, baby. You're doing the work. It's going to be like you barely even knew them people. I mean, a new place, a new space, a new age. I ain't fucking nobody. So please just have some patience. We ain't even gotta go there. Already got me back. And then I'm here in 7th Street there. Let my hands up. Touch the, uh, uh. I'll be on top. Really, I'll be on the bottom. Cause we're gonna be having sex on the ceiling. Take me high. Take me high, boy. Pick me up, we gonna be having sex on the ceiling. You ain't never ever wanna come down, boy. I'ma have you up every time you around, boy. So whenever you get that feeling, baby, we gonna have sex on the ceiling. Okay, how does this karmic go about this person being in love with my collective? How does this karmic feel about this person being in love with my collective? All of a sudden, I'm here. All of a sudden, now, oh, all of a sudden, money bag, yo. All of a sudden, it says faithful to someone who ain't mine. This kind of feel like she faithful to someone that ain't hers. Huh? 
I thought a nigga said some. Okay. I thought a nigga that can't get his bitch back said some. <laughs> Is it true that you posted another nigga money? <laughs> He's like, fuck that. I don't put him as none. Okay. What the fuck? It says, missed out on a blessing. This person felt like they missed out on a blessing. So this person felt like paying attention to this motherfucker that's always lying. They missed out on their blessings as well. Like, they feel like this person fucked both of y'all over. This person feel like this person fucked both of y'all over. Elite, or even if not you, them. Because they thought it was funny when it was happening to you. But now that the shoe on the other foot, it don't feel good. It don't feel good. Mm. Mm. Well, what do you know about the uh, mixtape? <sighs> what chakra is What chakras or blessings do my collection be working on? Coming in. What chakras do my collective need to be working on? The gut. Because right now you you need to do some detoxing in the gut. I've been talking about Yanni steaming. I was talking about cord cutting. Um, the soul energy transfers and shit like that. Y'all need to clear that space. Y'all got to do some spring cleaning with the body. And in that root, with the six in reverse. Okay. It's still a little bit of root work to be done, but the end result is going to be there. The end result is going to be there. And I'm hearing double for your trouble, especially with the four coming out as well. Gucci down to the socks, rings and watch, necklace. Uh, what he say? I guess deeper and deeper. <laughs> Help your man can. Okay. And I'm here. Who do you love? Are you sure? Who do you love? Are you sure? I do what I can. <laughs> okay. And what was the other question that I asked? I said, how does my collective... Okay, is that what root... Okay, what chakra does my collective need to be working on? And what else did I say? What other messages do we need to hear? Because I can't even fucking remember at this point. We had an hour and 2.44 on the clock. Yeah. What else do my collective needs now? What else does my collective needs now? Past, present, future. Past, present, future. The red. I'm also hearing there was no skips on this. You had to go through this for a divine purpose with this blue. This is going to develop your throat chakra, and this is also going to um, help develop that crown chakra. Okay. Six in the reverse again. That's two sixes in reverse. You was not supposed to procreate with this person. Zero. You was not supposed to procreate with this person. However, you were supposed to go through that lesson with this three on the side and skip. Past, present, future. Your past brought you to that present time with that 11 to 22. And in that present time led you to your future. But you, you had to go through it. Time for fucking nation, period. I want to get one, one prayer message and we're done. 104.30 on the clock. 104.33, 104.34. Here, what is one prayer message at my collective meeting tonight? 
This is one prayer message that my collective needs to know. This is one prayer message that my collective needs to know at this time. The Lord will always guide you. Isaiah 58 11. Some things was going to be you and God. Like I said, with that Viola Davis movie. You have to just take some things into your own hands. What is one motivational message that you can give my Carmen so they can do better? What is one motivational message that you can give this Carmen so they can do better? Okay, I got two messages for you. Do one even better. Okay, these both came out in reverse because motherfucker clearly in itself knows. So I'm going to flip these over so I can read. It says, love the Lord your God. Always do what he tells you and keep all his laws. Deuteronomy 11, 1. So this karmic is not following what the Lord is telling them to do. What God is telling them to do. Like I said, this person thought it was funny when they was doing this bullshit to you. Now that she was on the other foot, now it's like they getting it now. But again, with them, they had to go through this past, present, future to know they worth as well. Just because they are a karmic right now does not mean that they're always going to be a karmic. But however, this person could have been a karmic child themselves. Or if they would have had this karmic child, it would have been to destroy you on the back. Damn, that's crazy. So they were trying to, yeah, they were trying to have a karmic child to the fucking destroy you. But you even, you still found out about whatever this affair was. So it still fucked it up, but they, they didn't do the damage they thought they were going to fucking do. Woo, that's crazy. And yeah, it was an open pregnancy. This person probably was bragging about it. That's how you ended up finding out. And then they closed me out. That's crazy. He tells you and keep all his laws. Yeah, this person has to do some root work. This comic definitely needs to do some root work. It says, you are one, you are of great worth in my eyes. You are honored and I love you. Isaiah 43, 4. So this person has a lot of repeating numbers. This person is refusing to do the work. Because these came out in reverse, just to let you know. You are of great worth in my eyes. You are honored and I love you. So I'm hearing this person is doing karmic things because they are in that same position where they don't know they worth. This person that y'all deal with preys on people. So until this person can understand they worth, which I feel like they're coming into, they're they're going to keep, they're going to have to break that karmic cycle. They're going to have to break that karmic cycle. So, but y'all already know what it is. It's Melanation, Nation, Melanin Gang, Melanin Pop, Melanin taking over freaking period. I just seen one, so 107.47, which is on my clock. And I just seen 107.44. Okay. 107.55. But again, y'all already know what it is. Melanation, Nation, Melanin Gang, Melanin Pop. Hopefully everything goes good with the upload on this video. And y'all already know. Ciao. <laughs> okay gracias 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 okay and let's say